Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord and welcome to Monday, the 28th day of September 2020. Our topic today on the Seeds of Destiny is more keys to experiencing the peace of God. We've been looking at the issue of peace and I know you're being blessed already. Our scriptural reference today is acquaint now thyself with him and be at peace. Thereby shall good come unto thee. That's an awesome passage. Job chapter 22 verse 21. Thought for the day. Spending quality time in the presence of God is a doorway to peace. Yesterday, we saw three demands or keys to experiencing the peace of God. Today, we shall consider more keys to experiencing the peace of God. Number one is intimacy with God. Everyone who hangs around fire must feel warm. For instance, if you stay around the kitchen for a while, people would begin to perceive the aroma of food around you. In the same way, when you stay around the presence of God, the God of peace, you will experience his peace. The presence of God is a container of peace. It is a dimension of peace that is devoid of worry and pressure. Spending quality time in the presence of God is a doorway to peace. People who carry the presence of God walk in unspeakable peace. When you come around them, you feel the serenity of heaven. When you connect yourself with God in intimacy, you will be at peace in life. Job 22, 21. When you come to Jesus, you will find peace. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 29. He's the Prince of Peace. Isaiah 9 uh, and verse 6. Many times when people come to see the senior pastor, my husband in the office, or myself, they say, I feel an unusual peace everywhere. Everywhere is peaceful. There's nothing that suggests any problem or any trouble. That is the raw, unadulterated presence of God. It gives serenity. It gives a kind of tranquility that makes you forget that there is any issue around in this world. Number two is hearkening to God's word and commandments. When you hearken to God's word, when you are a lover of the book of God, you are a carrier of the peace of God. Psalm 119 verse 165. Distance from the Bible is distance from peace. People who love the word of God have great peace, whether it is by reading the Bible or by listening to the preached word of God. You will have peace if you listen to God's word. In Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1 to 2. So make up your mind to study God's word. And thirdly, is access to the voice of God. This is hearing God for a specific direction. Following the direction of God for your life brings peace. Psalm 23, verse 1 to 2. If God is leading you, peace is not negotiable. The leading of God makes peace automatic. To follow the way of the Lord is to collide with peace. Psalm 85 verse 8 and Isaiah 48 verse 11. If you listen to Jesus, you will have peace in the world of tribulation. John 16 33. So please know this. God is not in anything you do that deprives you of peace. It does not matter how excited you are or how fanciful it appears. If you lack peace, God is not in it. Peace is a proof of divine guidance. Colossians chapter 3 verse 15. My counsel is, let the peace of God rule your life as an umpire. Let the peace of God be your guide in life. And remember this, that spending quality time in the presence of God is doorway to peace. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment today? Number one, make up your mind to spend quality time with God at the place of prayer. Number two, read your Bible and listen to preached words, preached messages, and then obey the word of God. And thirdly, access specific divine direction for your daily living. Praise the Lord. 
I'm excited that God is set for your lifting in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Say, oh Lord, I thank you once again for showing me the keys to experiencing peace, your peace in my life. I ask for the grace to do all it takes to experience your peace, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'd like to pray for you today. You want Jesus to be the Lord of your life? Pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Please forgive me all my sins. Wash away my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, O Lord. Thank you for hearing me. In Jesus' name, amen. Please find yourself a Bible-believing church. Get planted. Get, get settled in the presence of God. And you will be blessed. And praise God, today is your birthday on the 28th of September. Congratulations, it's a special day and I wish you a very special happy birthday. I pray the Lord's hand be made manifest upon your life. I pray the blessings of God upon your life today and I ask that you be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Have a wonderful day. a place of revival. It is a place of His presence. It is a place to receive God's hope and hope. It is a place of His glory. It's too